Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what messages want to come through for you. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Alright, we have a flyer. And I'll give you also this one. Building blocks by the book well beautiful combination doing things in the most appropriate way a beautiful approach to follow in order to set solid foundations that can stand the test of time kind of knowing to be able to bring in the best possible effort following some guideline that you may have very clear in your mind or in your heart even more beautiful so quite an opportunity to pursue something extremely meaningful paying the proper attention to all the details involved in order to to build on solid ground I like it. So let's see what the Tarot has to say about this combination for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This can be a personal endeavor or a love, con a love connection, love partnership, but it's a beautiful approach by itself. All right, guys, we have two cards. So these are the first two and then i will go for two more and we move to four so three of ones ten of ones five of swords two of ones magician bottom of the deck um the ability to deal with the tools that you may have at your disposal in order to make the best out of them the magician is also the one with the higher vision he can see opportunities where other individuals cannot see anything you know this is meaningful i will put the magician bottom of it we have the eight of cups which is an energy that i feel we can find in the ten of wands five of swords energies you know something that some of you have decided or will decide to leave behind embracing a soulful decision and a higher manifestation process this is quite a flow guys um, so you were, you um, were involved or may have been involved depending on the timelines um, in a challenging situation surrounded or dealing with uh, some individual that was ego driven five of swords energy someone that wants to have the last word only for the pleasure to do so when in reality it doesn't really matter you know they are acting uh, out of ego for this very reason the people around these men with all the swords are willing to remove from the situation because it is not aligned uh, with their values for example the situation may have been a source or still is a source of overwhelming energies but the man in the ten of ones knows that the cycle is coming to its completion and he is ready to uh, put in his ultimate effort in order to take care of the tasks that he is called to embrace and he knows that the moment where the moment when he will be able to let go of all the burdens will offer him the relief that he deserves so this is um, the first point the ignition point in order for you to embrace a soulful decision this man is holding the word in his hand so for me his life evaluating all the aspects involved in the situation that he was part of something that was not aligned with him so 
deeper evaluation, paying the proper attention to all the things that uh, may have a role in order to embrace a soulful decision that can be an influence for the following chapters of the journey, in order to manifest a change, building solid foundations moving forward by the book, meaning with the right approach, the right mindset. Three of Wands, we move from the two to the three of Wands, basically. This man has set his intentions in a very clear way and has thrown them out into the universe. Now he knows that it's only a matter of time before the universe can deliver. He is waiting for the sun to come up and for the ships to come in with all the treasures. But he is also ready to put in the effort, you know, in order to facilitate the higher manifestation process. So this is quite something. A little bit of time can be involved because this is a waiting, um, you know, this man is standing still waiting for the reward to, to be manifested, basically. So let's go and clarify a little bit more, especially about these, um, these two energies in the middle. Right, one card fell from the table. The first one, lovers, wheel of fortune, temperance, the hermit, my goodness, and the magician, bottom of the deck, a confirmation that this is a, a, some kind of divine and destined calling for those of you that uh, may resonate with a situation that is... Um, requesting in some way balance within a situation that uh, was not aimed at the best possible outcome so the healing offered by the divinely guided energy of the temperance will allow some of you guys to interact in a mature way with the person that you were dealing with or are still dealing but wanting to leave them behind basically in order to avoid whatever conflict that um, is useless to your uh, further steps in order to move uh, forward in a successful way but you cannot be caught up in petty fights and pointless uh, arguments you know so the balance the divine alchemy offered by the temperance is a powerful ally to um, rely on the cycle it's a matter of time but it will find its conclusion, Wheel of Fortune, an energy that cannot be rushed, it uh, unfolds according to a predetermined divine timing. There is patience, as I told you, speaking about the Three of Wands, um, but this is also fate, destiny, you know? Something that was meant to happen in order for you to unlock some major awareness, some major clarity i love to see the hermit with the two of ones energy um, embracing a deeper un understanding an introspection an inner process in order to uh, find a major clarity about what truly matters in our journey there is an ancient wisdom with the hermit energy a beautiful opportunity to display a mature and wise approach towards the individuals that you may be called to deal with but at the same time towards your evaluation process of the things that you desire to pursue and manifest in the following chapters of the journey 
something that is meaning, meaningful for you with the buy the book energy and something that can help you in the building process of your satisfaction and fulfillment. The lover's energy, a touch of soulmate energy, of course. Uh, this can be the kind of partnership that you desire to experience. Um, these a five of sword, this ten of wands um, combination. If it is about a love connection that um, you were involved with or still are, um, maybe others of you. You have recognized that the lover's energy was not involved in this situation. Uh, it was unbalanced, um, unhealthy, ego-driven, without um, the opportunity to be your true self. For this very reason, you have embraced or you will embrace the process. The lover's is also a heart over head decision. In order to, I want to say, not settle for the um, unsatisfying opportunities that may present themselves to your attention, you know. You want to experience something that can be a source of growth for you, something that can um, offer you the opportunity to display your finer qualities. You know, in a partnership that can be a source of reciprocal growth. And you have made your mind up extremely clearly. Double magician, the hermit, temperance energy. A little bit of patience is involved in order for you to call in even the kind of love partnership. Soul driven, very passionate. Um, that can be felt, truly felt within and that you may be even willing to wait for. So, when the cycle about the unbalanced connection will close itself, the wheel will spin, kinda, offering you the chance to manifest and pursue the opportunities that may even see involved this beautiful lover's energy. And basically, it all started with the inner process that has helped some of you guys to find and achieve a major, major clarity. So, you will deal with this unbalanced connection in a very mature way. With the will, it's due to be left behind and you will manifest in a powerful and extremely aware way your desires. So, four major arcanas in the clarification. Double magician. Quite a flow, guys. I will leave it at that. I really hope it was helpful. I'll continue on Beam. I'll see you there if you want to join me. The link is below. Let us know if you resonate. Leave a comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.